Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's just about five episodes since we hit 1,500 episodes. Now we are episode number 1,504, five, and uh, we're going strong. We are in the middle of a series in these episodes. We're talking about Papa's apathy. Actually, the topic is apathy, the greatest enemy of Papa's pursuit after ignorance. Why am I saying that? Because Papa's pursuit is a journey. If you've discovered your purpose, you realize that you've just begun. If you thought that you've you've ended by discovering you're wrong, the journey has just begun. Now you know the direction you're supposed to take. And that direction has enemies. And one of the biggest enemies of your purpose pursuit is an internal enemy. It's called apathy. It is not even the president. It's not even the economy. <laughs> Right? It's not all these external excuses that we give. It is the internal power of apathy that makes people to down their tools after discovering what their purpose in life is. And they say, ah, this thing, uh, yeah. and they down their tools. Let us look at one reason as to why that is so again in this episode today. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yesterday in the episode, we saw that one philosophy that makes Papa's uh, apathy to set in is the idea or the thought or the thinking that, hey, I've got to get paid from my Papa's pursuit from day one, or at least at the end of the week, or maybe at least at the end of the month, i got to get paid from my Papa's. And that philosophy hits you right side the head, upside the head, downside the head, whatever it is, when reality sets in that it's not true. So if you went into Papa's pursuit ostensibly so that you can get a quick buck faster in the shortest time possible, I want to say fewest day, in the shortest time possible if you wanted to get Papa's pursuit to pay you, you find that it's not. What happens you stop pursuing the purpose. You down your tools. You go look for something else that is going to help you to pay your bills. And it has its place, we said yesterday. Now, secondly, I want to say this statement, and it's a very controversial statement. Why does apathy set in? Number two, purpose is not business. The other reason for inactivity with Papa's pursuit is related to the first reason we talked about yesterday. Some people have a mentality that Papa's is not business and therefore they do nothing constructive with it. That mentality. Papa's is just a spiritual thing. I am not supposed to gain anything from it. I'm just, God is going to pay me. Right? And so they go into purpose without the mentality that I am supposed to create structures, channels, avenues where I can create products out of this purpose that I'm pursuing. I can create streams of income out of this purpose I'm pursuing. I can create, what do they call them? I can create my niche 
and I can serve my niche with this particular kind of value. Actually, purpose pursuit is just about value addition in this life. When you come to the just uh, fundamental dregs of detail as far as purpose is concerned, if you want to break down purpose, there's, there will be no purpose pursuit without value addition. There will always be value addition. Remember when we started, we talked about you having an enemy or a nemesis, some something that you're fighting against. If you're a Wangari Maadai, you're fighting against um, deforestation, right? You're fighting for the environment. If you are Martin Luther King Jr., you're fighting against segregation and, and so on and so forth. And so people normally look at purpose from those angles. They say, okay, Martin Luther King Jr. had his purpose. And his purpose was not a business. And therefore, if I have discovered my purpose, it should not be necessarily a business. Nothing could be farther from the truth, ladies and gentlemen. That kind of thinking is not wholesome. It's not complete. There are some, there are some things that you can do that are highly spiritual, heightened spiritual, that you shouldn't actually charge. But even then, there, there are avenues where you're compensated for your efforts. A pastor should not be charging people money for prayer. You, you get what I'm saying? But there should be avenues that have been created in the religious institution that caters for the person who is helping people with their spiritual, emotional needs, such as praying and counseling. There's got to be some compensation uh, about it. But not all kinds of pursuits of purpose are that way in terms of the calling. Like I've uh, given an example of Apple, that they are the $3 trillion company whose economy is better than Africa combined. $3 trillion. Better than Africa combined. One company. But these guys are a purpose entity because their purpose is not to make money. Their purpose is to innovate, to make things simpler and exciting and to solve problems, technological problems and, and so on and so forth and make e life easier for people. That's why they are a $3 trillion company. The thinking that people normally have that my purpose is not business, soon enough, it makes apathy to set in because... Remember we said yesterday, you've got to put food on the table, cloth on your back, and purpose is not paying you immediately. So if it's not paying you immediately, what happens? You will look for something that has to pay you immediately. So your mentality has to change. Some people have this mentality that purpose is not business and therefore they do nothing. Nothing constructive about it. Let me just say that all businesses that are successful, they have purpose at the center of them all. All of them. All of them. I challenge you to name me a business that doesn't have purpose. Every single one of them have purpose in, in them. And if you wanted to know, just look at how the reality on the ground is in conjunction with their vision or their mission. Right? Look at that. If their vision and mission meets the reality on the ground, that's a spiritual organization and it's a business. When you think that purpose is not for monetization, you end up relegating it to the periphery because life is currency. Bills have got to be paid. You only pursue that which is going to give you money at the end of the day. But in the meantime, as you're pursuing the thing that is going to give you money, you've benched your purpose and now apathy has set in. Now you become the, the fighter against that purpose itself. So purpose discovery that is not acted upon will always bring that apathy. And it's immediate and consistent action with your purpose that delivers this purpose to the end. So the philosophy or the realization that my purpose is a business or can be monetized is good enough 
for you to start down to sit down and start creating a plan and therefore you can anticipate that at year 3 or year 6 or year 10 I should start getting this kind of income in the meantime I need to start building this foundation in obscurity create my website create my payment channels and create my content and build this thing up so much so that there's a critical mass create a tribe and so on and so forth otherwise without this kind of planning which has been necessitated by the knowledge that there is business and there is monetization in your purpose pursuit without this kind of knowledge you will not do this and when you don't do this you will not get fulfillment from your purpose don't monetize your purpose unless you have a lot of income from elsewhere i don't think you'll be able to run your purpose apathy will set in because you it will be crowded out your purpose will be crowded out by the need to make money in other places so that you can pay your bills because life is currency today tomorrow we will look at something else as far as this is concerned but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.